Okay, welcome to Wednesday's Grab and Go. I'm Miss Karen. I'm with Dudley today. Dudley is soaking up some sun this afternoon, aren't you, buddy? And today we are talking about penguins. Have you ever been to the zoo to see the penguins? They're pretty neat. We're reading the book, If You Were a Penguin. This is a book that we read at story time, or we have in the past. So this might be familiar to you. If you were a penguin, what could you do? You could fly underwater. Or sing a duet. You could live on the land, but get really wet. You could wear a tuxedo or make funny faces. You could go for a swim in warm or cold places because penguins live in different places. You could live underground or on top of the ice. Penguin pals all around make it twice as nice. You could have funny names like Chinstrap and Gentu. You could learn to toboggan. Woohoo! That's like another name for sledding. You could wear fancy feathers in dry or wet weather. You could eat squids and fishes without any dishes. She's feeding her babies there. But here's a surprise for me and for you. Penguins do lots of things that you can do too. And the back of this book has penguin fun facts. And it also has, this is kind of cool, if I can get to the page, different types of penguins that they feature throughout the book. So I didn't realize there were that many types of penguins, but there really are. And in our grab and go bags this week, we do have a sticker scene, which you will see when you pick them up. But we also have these nice penguin ornaments that you can make, just little sticky signs. So make sure you stop by our lobby on Wednesday morning and start picking up some penguins. And we'll see you next Wednesday.